we're starting out. This is Lakeview Lodge. It's really nice. Um, quite stunning, actually. So I plan on coming back here with the kids. But it's early. I'm going to go meet Chris and Melissa, who went with us last year for breakfast soon. Here are the cabins. And I mean, like you, you were right on the lake. So we were pretty excited to start this. Like normal, we're waiting on Dan. So hopefully he gets the stuff packed up. I'm not gonna run late. Huh? What? We're running late. What'd you forget? Nothing. And here's the room, so. You saw the view outside, this is inside. And by the way, the restaurant here, if you do come, is really damn good. Amazing. Like it was pretty shocking. Prices are up there a little bit, but it's you can't beat man. can't beat the location so and then this is where you can have coffee every morning so chris is making us run behind <laughs> it's kind of what happens after we waited for andy hey we're getting started say hi guys you haven't said hi, hi. since last year hi guys. hi guys hi guys that's it that's all you need to know about them this is how you do if you want to know who these people are check out our other videos they're introduced <laughs> there one of them one of our other videos. Yeah, but we're not going to tell them which one. You need to check all of them. From beginning to end. Yeah. And yeah. comment and like. Um, so the first day of six. And it's going to be rough. About 10 miles. And we're dropping straight down to about, what, 7,700? Yeah, we're dropping almost 3,000 feet. We're not dropping 3,000 feet. It's like 2,700 feet we're dropping. And then we go right back up. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna suck. So Good. we're going down and then we're going back up. Um, I think in, in five miles we'll start here, which we're probably eight thousand, nine thousand. Then we get down to seven, then we go back up to ten. So, but this is the hardest day of the trip, so we saved it for the very end. Right off the bat. Yeah, it makes which sense. I'm fine with. with the heaviest packs. So we will be checking in in about ten minutes when we need to break. Goodbye. <laughs> This is the begin things. Already amazing. It doesn't look so bad. I think we're fine, guys. It looks pretty flat. Oh, the mosquitoes? No, <laughs> yeah. The mosquitoes look flat. But we've already, in the course of playing in this stuff for like a year, we've already got confused on our hiking agenda. So we'll have to look at the map tonight to see. Still five nights, six days. Just not quite sure where we're staying for two nights. What do you think, Dan? I think we'll figure it out. I'm not worried about it. So we've gone down uh, maybe a quarter mile. We haven't gone super far, but can't see that. But <laughs> we're st we haven't hit the decline yet. I have a feeling it's going to be straight down and straight up. And we're hoping, I think that way. And I'm hoping after that it stays somewhat level what do you guys think good good, good, good. good? so either connects or maybe an arm of the fremont and then we're going i think straight up that to the left yeah that's that ravine dude yeah i guess it does have to be doesn't it i'm not gonna make you pay me 20 bucks i owe you so much money in this life <laughs> So, we're starting to hit, hit the down section. We're moving downhill at a pretty good rate. Um, definitely technical, so a little slow going. We knew it would be the next few hours. We're not going to be covering a lot, but it's going to be hard. Nothing like getting your legs nice and sore and your knees before then killing your lungs on the way up. So. <laughs> But we're hoping once we get to the top, the last few miles are going to be easy. They're certainly going to be easier than this, according to the map. So, a beautiful, really pretty area. So, what do you think, Dan? I think this is gorgeous. Yeah. Nice it's mix of aspens mixture. and pines. Yeah, it's a good mixture of aspens, pines. You have Rock. openings throughout the hike so far where you're not just feeling like you're trapped in the woods. It's, yep. it's awesome. Well, we've been trekking for a little bit. 
and uh, came to a pretty cool section. I don't have my gimbal on right now, so this isn't going to be too steady. And I need to kind of watch where my feet are, but we've only been hiking like an hour. Straight down. The scenery is pretty gorgeous. We made it to Long Lake. We were at the bottom. We've, we've got our descent down. Now we just have to go up to the top of that, which, I mean, come on, that's not, what, like half a finger? We have half a finger to go. Damn, Andy got high centered. He's oh. stuck. What should we do to get him down? I don't think I'm getting anywhere. Poyot, start throwing rocks at him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How's it going, everyone? Uh, we just crossed the junction for Elkhart Park, Fremont Lake, and to continue up the Trapper Lake. We're continuing up the Trapper. Um, we got to this bridge right here. It's pretty sweet. It helps our crossing this river a bunch because it is flowing really, really hard. It's pretty cool. Not maintained, but it's so pretty. Oh, dude, watch stabbing yourself here. Left or right? Which way? Oh. <laughs> so we came across this meadow. This alone would be an amazing place to stay, but we got a ways to go. We haven't begun that hill. We're going to be going up there. It's so quite a bit of switchbacks, but Wyoming. You are gorgeous. Sorry if I stutter, but I'm standing on a log. And then that is the lake we're staying on. So we've kind of gone up and around. Absolutely incredible. Say hi, guys. Hello. Yeah, they tell you part of this is straight up. It's straight up. That lake in the middle of your screen is where we came from about four hours ago. So worth it. We are now trying to find a lake, which I think we just were approaching it, because we are out of water and some slight headaches are kicking in. Little Trapper Lake. All right, what's going on, everyone? I'm gonna walk around camp real quick. Show you how we're set up. This is my tent. Big Agnes UL2 fits me just perfect. Right on this lake. Mosquitoes, you can't see them, but they are freaking here. Andy, say hi. There's the pool yachts. Got a nice fire going. Andy's tent. He's got the Nemo 2. And then up in back back there, that's the Pool Yachts tent. They have the Copper Spur UL3 from Big Agnes. We're just going to sit back with our bug nets on. Make our own smoke. <laughs> and enjoy this fire. What'd you guys think of night one? How'd everybody sleep? Um, Good. Not bad. New pads were really nice. Yeah, new pads are perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Thermarest. Yeah. Awesome. Definitely. We are all packed up. Everything's put away, packed up, fires put out. 
Ready to head for day number two. So much lighter. I can't even remember what lake this is, do you? Beautiful earlier than lake. My friend Stacy, her aunt was commenting one time about come down into Borum Lake. This is the trail leading in. Tons of wildflowers. Lights catching off the granite. This is it's kind of unfortunate we're not that far in today. Because this would be an amazing place to stay. Lots of willows. Stream. Wanna see my bone? This is This is so beautiful. It just keeps going. A little ways to go to where we wanted to camp. There's another lake that looks it's big, but the mosquitoes are horrible. Hey, let's go explore on that side over there. Mosquitoes are horrible. They're bad. It's so bad. They're so bad. I don't have any blood left. We're coming up on Summit Lake. I don't think we're gonna go up to it. There's a path that'll bypass about a mile to where we're getting, but it's beautiful down here. I say that a lot. It's kind of like that everywhere. So this is Summit Lake. Which we're going to be swimming in shortly. We're camping just up into that first set of trees. Hello everyone, here to show you camp for night number two, but first I'm going to show you this view of where we're staying. Pretty awesome. Good fire going. This is our fire area. Poyad's tent My set up out there. Bag, <clears throat> Here's Andy's tent tucked back in these trees. Full of mosquitoes because that stuff has not stopped once today. It will though once it gets dark or sun starts going down. And I'm not going to walk all the way to my tent, but it's right there overlooking the lake i'll get some more video for you guys later what we're getting ready to walk to so andy can take some pictures but this is this is what we're looking at what's going on everyone so in the middle of your screen right now uh it's the lake that we're staying at our camps in the bottom of them hills right there i just came up through this field Let's see what was up here you can probably see the mosquitoes in your screen this more field <laughs> super pretty though hey what's up everybody night number two in the wind river range we're at a gorgeous lake. I don't remember the name of it. Summit, Summit Lake? Summit Lake. Summit. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see in front of the camera, the mosquitoes are gorgeous too. <laughs> More beautiful than you. Um, we did, I don't know, six, seven miles today. Somewhere around there. Uh, we were gonna go about a mile further until we reached this lake and saw how beautiful it was and we found an awesome camp spot. Hung out a little bit, uh, harvested some wood, which was entertaining to say the least. But we got a good amount for a fire tonight. We got a fire going right now, we're by camp. Um, getting ready to eat some dinner and then go take some pictures and then sit by the fire all night and just relax. Hopefully by that time, 
the mosquitoes will have died down a bit. They should. They did last night. So tonight, we are having, Andy and I, you know it, the breakfast skillet from Peak Performance. If you've never had it, get it. And as you can see, I didn't mention it last night, that the Puyats, after some convincing from Andy and I, went out and bought Helinox chairs. Because they're that good. They're the best. So. Hingle Knox, if you want to sponsor us, <laughs> best, more game. Best money I spent on uh, hiking gear. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day number three. We are all packed up for the morning and uh, ready to head out and get away from these mosquitoes and head to our next campsite at Island Lake. One last view of where we stayed. Saw two moose this morning right along the water line. Gorgeous place. Not time to head out. We're on our way down from Summit Lake, really good campsite. And we're heading today, well, decent, decent trip. We're going to be going to um, Island Lake. We'll be staying two nights, so really pretty area through here. I hope you can hear me over this, how loud it is, but this is what we just came to. We came from the other side, and I'll bring you over here. What do you think, man? Awesome. Cameras and video never do it justice, but... It's pretty amazing. This is why we do this. You're missing out if you don't get out here and do this. All right, so we just came up this incline and uh, our view is not too shabby. into that.
Let go. <laughs> uh, too late. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty gorgeous. Yeah. What's going on, everyone? We just came up over the middle of your screen right there to Upper Gene Lake. We've been working our way down to Lower Gene Lake. We're heading down that basin. We got about four miles to go. His feet are already wet. I don't know what he's doing. Boing. It's a wobbly one. Careful. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, no. everyone and welcome to day number four we're at island lake mosquitoes are still thick and horrible but here it is hi andy a lot of people here a lot of people <clears throat> that's gorgeous we're getting ready to go on a day hike up in Tickcomb Basin, right in the middle of your screen. We'll see how it goes. Now I got that on camera. <laughs> So we made it up to Titcomb, um, straight ahead of me-ish, probably closer down this way. It's Island Lake where we camped. Not a bad hike up here, of course, up to yesterday, 15 miles. Anything, anything from that is nice. At the base of Titcomb, just straight up this way, it's absolutely beautiful. So, the rest of the group was sitting there and relaxing, I thought I'd Take the opportunity to come get some pictures. So we are at Unknown Lake. The lake right below Titcomb. That's a runoff from Titcomb. And we just swam. Wiped off four days and one 15 mile day worth of grime. <laughs> It. Yeah, it felt amazing. So, short ways from camp, get some firewood and fend off the mosquitoes for a few hours until nighttime. Watch out! Damn. 
That's not what we were planning to do. But look at this view. We're trying to find dead trees to get some firewood for tonight because this place has been ransacked. with us. Today we're going to take our time, pack up, head out to our last campsite just south of Seneca Lake. We don't know how far we're going to go, somewhere in between Seneca Lake and Photographer's Point. It's a beautiful morning, mosquitoes are just now waking up, so could do without them. Other than that, it's been perfect. Here's camp, which I haven't done a video yet. Here's my tent. Andy's tent is down here. Pouillot's tent is down here. We had this spectacular view. Lake is just at the base of those mountains. You can see it. It's not all that great from here. But that's it. Day number five, starting now. Big Seneca. This thing does go on a long ways. It does. Looks like it might wrap around there. It is amazing, the flowers. It is. It's one nice thing I think of coming when we came now is they're blooming. We got here at the perfect time for blooming. <laughs> Ready? You guys do this every day? Not every day. No? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Good, how are you? We're been, we've been doing it the wrong way, guys. Still a lot of work. Yo, I'm sure. <clears throat> so what lake is this? No Name Lake. No Name Lake. Actually, no, Barbara Lake. Is it Barbara? It is Barbara. Barbara. Barbara Lake. Kind of came to this at the end. And compared to the other camps we were just talking, it might not be as good, but it, this is still stunning. And just goes to show, get out and explore, because we did, and just realized we have this view. Showing the um, take home take basin. basin where we were just at earlier today, okay. so. Oh. <laughs> it's like sheer drop off. <laughs> I'll die with you. Good stuff. <laughs> <Her face. laughs> 